Right guys, welcome back to the channel and to this product review from Anvil Industries. And as you can see, Anvil Industries do some really cool alternatives for, in particular, weaponry. And I love some of the bits that they've sent over. I have very slowly kind of started putting together some of my Death Watch models and recycling some Blood Angels. Um, and I've only bought a couple of packs of Death Watch, so I think the most common thing to do is people tend to be running a lot of frag cannons. And this alternative to frag cannon is great. I do love it. It's pretty much the same gun, apart from you get a really cool backpack that goes with it. The gun is very, very firmly fitting. The cast is very well done. Plenty of detail on there, but the thing that I like about it is the canister here that holds each of the missiles and things. Um, that's actually interchangeable, so you can have like a, a full bead, um, a full feed of them, or you can have a more squared type feed on there. Sorry about this, my hands as I've said several times before, a massive. Um, so yeah, I went for the, the round canister on this one, uh, as I thought that was quite cool. Um, obviously I need to stick the shoulder pads on this guy, um, but he'll definitely be a frag cannon that'll be featured in the force once it is up and running. The next thing that we've got is an Infernus Heavy Bolter, uh, and this comes in uh, three pe four pieces if you come to two arms, but then you've got the main body of the heavy ball uh, and the ammo feed and then you've got the canister uh, and the flame which actually glues it on along the back there underneath um, and as an alternate for an infernus heavy ball there it's fantastic um, but you also get on a chain blade there if you want to run it with a chain blade instead of uh, an infern and heavy flamer essentially but again I, I love the arms on these as well that the I, I, I think I like them more than the Space Marine arms. They're very kind of definitive, you know, there's a lot of detail on them and I like, like I said, the alternatives to the Heavy Bolter. You don't want the same weapon copy and pasted, you know, a hundred times uh, in a force. Um, if you've got a squad of missile launchers, you want them all to look slightly different and I think using these in conjunction with the Games Workshop ones would actually make really really good alternatives and just kind of breaks the models apart rather than have a squad of four almost identical looking models. The next thing that we've got is shotguns. Now there's a number of shotguns which I'll show you in a few moments but this one in particular I do like kind of a pump action shotgun um, and you've got a little bit of a sight along the top there as well. Some of them do come with the hands already on, kind of like what the uh, Games Workshop weaponry and stuff does as well. But as you can see, it fits pretty much straight into the slot. Um, I think, bear in mind, I've, I've put this onto an already built model. Um, the shoulder rest there is definitely depending upon the rest of the model as to whether or not that's going to fit quite well. But I do love the details. Obviously, the barrels are drilled almost. <laughs> Um, but the detail on it again is it, it, fantastic, I really like that on there. So the alternatives for the shotguns, uh, they actually come on a sprue. Uh, and as you can see each one is slightly different. So those two, I think those, no, those two top ones are different because this one has the shells on the outside but you get some extra shells here. And of course you've got the extra hands on the bottom there as well. This one's got the shells with the hands. This one has a space for the sight. Um, this one has space for an extra magazine uh, that you can clip in. It looks as though it's got the shoulder harness folded back on itself. Um, and then this one doesn't have a shoulder harness at all. So each of them are actually slightly different, which I really like. Um, but yeah, I think I'll definitely be using these in conjunction with the, the uh, Death Watch shotguns as well. Um, two other things that we've getting is, I forget the name of these, I think they're called carbines. Um, I don't know if I would use these ones as stalker bolt guns. Like I said, I do like these a lot, but something else that uh, Anvil Industries have sent over is these. And I think these make better stalker bolt guns. You know, they've got the, the the much better barrel on there. They've got the scope on there on one of them as well. They've got, a, you know, a larger magazine as well as a, a shoulder rest on there if you wanted that on. So, you know, 
I, I do like these a lot and I think these would definitely be getting used uh, as the stalker bolt guns in my force because like I said I've only bought a couple of boxes so I'll only have actually two stalker bolt guns these are an absolute must some other bits that they've sent over are some kind of retro pump action shotguns if I can just get it to focus there we go um, these are really really cool and I think I'd probably use these with my gene stealer cult they're a lot closer to the shotguns that they use I prefer the other shotguns for death watch in particular but like I said these definitely will be going with the gene stealer cult I do want a few extra shotguns and it's like I said it's kind of like the retro pump action shotgun um, two barrels so yeah definitely like that a lot and they will be going on the gene stealer cult now I'm going to move the camera along because there's a lot of small bits here and I can't really pick them up with my Giganto hands. So as we look across at these bits and pieces that have been sent, we have a Storm Bolter equivalent here with the kind of round barrel in there. Very, very cool. I think that'll be going on a character. We've got a revolver and pistol. So again, you know, if you're going to look for maybe he's making like a commissar uh, or even just a squad leader or something, uh, I'll probably stick this on one of my Gene Sailor Cult near fight leaders. Uh, and of course, a chain blade there to go on the bottom of a gun as well. Now, it's a bit hard to see these, but these are actually um, sights. So let's just move down a slight bit. Yeah, so these are actually sights to stick on top of the guns. Uh, we've got some more kind of sniper scopes here. These will be better on the stalker bolt guns, I think. And then we've got a couple of magazines here. These little bits and pieces that you can see here, what these are, are um, almost like uh, projectiles to come out of guns. So this one you could stick on the end of the frag, frag cannon, for example. Let's see if I can just pick that up. there so it kind of looks like the explosion coming out of the end of it and they are pretty damn cool um, Anvil Industries check them out on Facebook and on the internet I'll post a link to the Facebook page and the website in the description very fast delivery fantastic prices and great customer service Please go and check them out, especially for alternative weapons um, and bits and pieces for Space Marines and Imperial Guard and, and things like that. Some great conversion bits found on there. So thanks very much to Anvil Industries for sending these over. And thanks very much for watching, folks.